Batteries okay. operated. It's still recording this time. Did you see that movie? Batteries operated? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. You know that movie? Yeah. With the little, bu- with the little robots? Yeah, And dude. they cook pancakes and shit? Yeah. You know that movie? Yeah. No way. Bro, I forget the guy's name, though. I do, too. The old, there's an old man N- in number there. Number five. Something number five. Oh, uh, you're talking about... Um, man, you're talking about Short Circuit. Not Batteries oh, Operated. Oh, yeah. Two Short different Circuit. movies. It is two different movies. You're talking about Fisher Stevens, remember? Yeah. Hello, Sunday. I would like to meet you. That's, 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 talk- that's, that's Short, Short Circuit. Circuit. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Big ups to you yeah. on Batteries Operated. I didn't know you knew that movie. Right. I used to watch that when I was a kid a lot. Like Real, a lot. You know a what lot, I mean? A lot. That's your camera. Oh, yeah. That's my camera. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it's not in front of us anymore. We're trying something new, folks. Yeah, baby. Hey. We hey, are doing you, you it. Keep your stupid blanket. No one's going to see it anyway. I know. It doesn't it's matter. Okay. It's okay. okay. Hopefully that camera doesn't run out. Otherwise, it's going to be just you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a solo show. I, I don't know. Let me just make sure they're recording. Oh, that's true. Well, while he's doing that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to another episode of Two Beers, Two Mics. Holla at your boys. Start it. Want me to go now? But we do, baby. Uh, two recreational beers, two mic- juice. Four Peaks. Good job, buddy. This is Try Four it. Peaks, This huh? is something new. Dank IPA recreational juice. This is wild. This is a squeeze of the day. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me get out of your Excuse way. Excuse me. Get out of my arm reach. No cheers? Just- oh, yes, yes, yes. Cheers. Oh, and I put cheers on top, though, because we kiss each other. Put cheers on the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, Well, no, that's Boca Bow Mountain. Okay. No, can't do that. Just, just go right just in the Just do that. Chest bump. Yeah, chest bump. Not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Right? It had a little, little foodi- foodiness into it. I like it. Yeah. Dank IPA. Woo! Woo! All right. I was shotgunning beers in the pool today. Were you? Yeah, shot, shot, shot fun. Shot fun. That shit's so cool, man. Lady, like I said, we got to stop cussing. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for another episode of Two, two Beers, Two, two Mics. Nate over there. James Miller over there. He's actually right I'm right here. Right there. And Nate's right there. <laughs> this is what we do. You can lean in. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, my boy came through with some merch. I got the merch. Well, he yo. beat me to it. So, anyway, well, I let's be honest. How long are we gonna wait? Does everybody like that? Save it for the pod. That's our slogan. Save it for the pod. Because every time we're talking shit, yep. it's always like a good subject. We automatically go, nope, save it for the pod. Don't save get for in the on pod it. And context matters, baby. Context matters. <laughs> context matters. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need to make that. So you take care of that shirt, then. Okay, I got you. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Well, f- where are they? It's coming. It's, it's ordered. That's all. Oh. I got you. I want to give you something cool, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. Do, um, do you think those are going to fit? Or are they too big? No, no, it's You're good. losing weight, dude. I know. It's good, though. We, you we, sure? We, yeah, we, I'll make it work. You I'll, just, show that? I'll make it work. He said, I'll make it work. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do some bicep curls. Your fucking arms are huge, dude. Yeah, no, I'll make it work. I appreciate you, big boy. How's your day today? You got 22s? Yeah, good Sunday? So far? No, I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, you are. Great <laughs> Sunday now. Shit, waiting all day. L- let's Making get, me wait. Let's let's get into it real quick. Okay? No. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's talk about let's talk about the NFL's mini camp. What, and, a, and, what about it? And we just did. Moving on. Um, <laughs> oh, let me ask you. Let me ask you a trivia question real quick. Well, I got one comment about mini camp. Oh, I don't care. Gosh. I don't. They're either. They're not playing football right this now. This is why we moved on. All they're doing is just going. You caught it. He looks so fast. Oh, That's my, all they're doing. This is why we moved on. But that's what I'm saying. Like, they, who cares? Well, what you know, somebody like, cares. Somebody cares. But, I don't know why. But that's why we moved on. But also, hey, but we mentioned it. If right? you want to watch cable, go watch cable. Don't watch our show then. But we, well, but we mentioned it. Yeah, I get it. So move on. Um, <laughs> we'll make it the thumbnail that way. <laughs> <laughs> who is the only running back to make over a hundred million dollars? Starting out with trivia right away. Yeah. All right. Who's the only running back to make over a hundred million dollars in, in his career? Over a hundred million in his yes, career. Yes, in his career. And exactly the amount he made it was 103. Oh, damn. LaDainian Tomlinson. No. Oh. Later? Could be same time almost. Oh, shit. Mm. Same time as LaDainian. I think they play at the same time. I really do. 
I'm going to fuck this up. Edwin James? Nope. Oh, man. Am I close, though? He's top five. All right time. now? All time. All time? Yeah. In, my, in my book, he's top five. It ain't all Jerome time. Bettis, though. No, no. In my, t- in my opinion, he's top five. Opinion. He's top. He's <laughs> top. No, he's top five. At, he's top five all time. Top five all time. Do it in that same era. Would it help if I gave you the college you went to? Yeah, do that. O- Oklahoma. Oh, Adrian Peterson. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was on that track. Yeah. I was like, mm. would it, would it the same time frame. Yeah, of course. AP and L- yeah. LT. Yeah. Who was first though? Do you know? I think AP was. AP came in the league first, and then. A- Ladanian left first. It might have been like a year or two a, a different. It ran right? him ragged though in, in, in San, San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, and did. then he got to the Jets and kind of did some stuff. Kind of did much. some stuff. Is that yeah. his only two teams? Or he plays somewhere else? Um, I can look it up. Who knows? I'm leaning. You don't have to do that. You got a mouse right here, dude. Here. Jeez, well, I don't see it. Well, it. you could. You, it's on your side, so you do. You look it up. <laughs> okay, I got it. Yeah. Um. Also, NFL news, uh-huh. there was a top 10 coaches on the NFL uh, list that came out, Let's see, let's see. and they said number one- The Danny and Tomlinson. He's they, a stud, though. Did you find it? Uh, how many teams did he play for? College? TCU? We knew that, though. Yeah, we knew the TCU. Hang on one Horn, Horn, Fro- Horn Frogs. Shout out Horn Frogs. Mm, just so far- yeah, just Chargers, Jets. Uh, where's the whole stat pack here? Yeah, that's it. Oh, two that's teams. That's it. Two teams. How many years in career? Uh, 2002 to 2010. Holy shit. Oh, 2001, 2010. Not that long. So he was before AP. Cause AP yeah, like AP was 07. right? 07? I want to say 07. Oh, my God. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> AP, why he looks it up, like, like I said, there was a top 10 list of NFL coaches currently um, in the league. And number 10 was Brian. Oh, you got it? Mm, about to find out right now. Hang on. Let me get down here. No, you, you tell people. Oh, you're th- oh so. Oh. AP. 2007. Good call. To 2015. Will he play with the Seattle Seahawks? Did he actually play on the field? He has a touchdown. He broke a record with oh, that touchdown. Right. He did. He did. Come on. Don't play games with me. Yeah, I know. Okay. Stop playing with me, number, dog. Number 10. Hey. With Brian DeBall. You wearing his Yankee shit. What happened today? We lost. I know, dude. Fuck. We lost twice in 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We beat the Rays, dude. Yeah, good job. Won the series. Give me some. Boom. Came back. We're down 6-1, dude. Yeah, I we saw that. We a huge rally in the yep. third. In Six the fourth. Yep. Fourth. Yep. Shout out to the Mariners this weekend. And Castillo doesn't get the lost. Uh, yeah, but it was, it was dicey. He gave yeah. up a lot. So he's an all-star, though. Yeah, good for him. Shout out the All Stars. I told you he'll be All Star. You did. You were right. You're absolutely right. I was going to tell you that on the pod. Like you got it right. They're talking about George Kirby being an alternate too, though. Uh, he 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 will be. Yeah. Because someone's going to pitch on Sunday that can't play on Tuesday. Probably. So he'll fill in for him. Man, I wish there was more Mariners playing though. I'm surprised Julio won't, won't be. Julio might be in there. No. You don't think so? There's too many good center fielders, dude. No, just outfielders. It doesn't matter what position. True, but I mean, like, there's a lot of good outfielders. Well, Mike Trout might not play. Why? He might get hurt. What's his effing problem? He might I, can't, get, I gotta stop cussing. You can't do it. He, 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 he might get hurt. <laughs> you can't. I know. Yeah. We don't have that many views. People are still gonna. Uh, people cuss, but they know who you are. They blank it. They blank it out. Okay. Can I do my top ten list? Yeah. NFL Both coaches. Shit. Number, number ten. Brian DeBall or Dable? Is it Dable or DeBall? The guy from the Giants? Yeah. He's number ten. Stop that. Yeah. This list is whack already. I know. Whack. Because why? We're living in now. So people only see the now, which is my argument. One good all season? The time, which is my argument all the time when it comes One? to certain, certain players. Like, I don't like this, James Miller. Number nine, Sean McDermott from Buffalo Bills. He ain't done shit either. He should be higher, though. He ain't done nothing either. No, but he should be higher. He done more than Brian DeBall. Okay, I agree with that. Number eight, really pissed me off, Nick Seriani, Eagles. Oh, why? For one good year. One good year. Doug Peterson only had one good year. Number seven, Doug Peterson, oh, Jacksonville shit. Jaguars. Oh, no way. <laughs> Doug Peterson. Yeah. He won a title, though, so you got to give it to him. Yeah. Number six. Wait, where did he coach in college, though? Doug Peterson? No, he played in the NFL. Oh, really? But, oh, okay. He didn't coach in the yeah, NFL. No, he didn't coach in college at all? Oh, no. okay. Yeah, Shout out Doug Peterson. Number six, Sean McVay, Los Angeles Rams. Super Bowl champ. Yeah, right? Always in the mix. Right. And just because of his 
menta- how amazing he is. He can just, how he can pinpoint oh plays. My gosh. His photographic memory is unreal. Awesome. How do you train your body like that? No idea. I no idea. That's, that's hours and hours of film study. That's what I'm saying. Better not lean in the camera. Know. Cut you Number off. five, John Harbaugh. Hey, can you stop doing that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number oh, <clears throat> number. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's already did it again. <laughs> number five, John Harbor. Just make it gay. Baltimore Ravens. That's he should be top five. He should be top five, right? For sure, right? Right. Longevity matters. Yeah. And, and consistency, longevity. Like, like you always like win. I mean, you have a few losing seasons, but you're winning. Right. Which so Tom was gonna be four. Number guess. four, Kyle Shanahan, San Francisco 49ers. He's a good coach. Was he top five coach? I think his team's always there, but now is it the, is it the defensive coordinators that's helping him out, or is it him? Because that, last time I remember him, they always say it's him, but who knows? Last time I remember him doing anything was twenty eight to three. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> number <laughs> three, had to bring out their worst moment. <laughs> number three, See, Mike. Whatever t- remembers you for the good stuff, it's always the mistakes. Oh, the mistakes, right? Yep. Mike Tomlin, number three. That's solid. He's been there for so long, dude. Yeah. One losing season. None. None. That's right, because they went eight, eight and eight, eight or eight and nine, nine and eight, eight last year. Yep. Fucking nuts. That's crazy, right? Number two, Bill Belichick. Well, then who's number one? Andy Reid. What? That's the now. Now. God, that's horseshit. I do not like. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. That dude been let at me, 10 me, Super Bowls. Let me say it for you. I do not like number 10. Nope. Number eight. Nope. And I could say. Number seven, but he won the Super Bowl, and so I'll give it to him, Doug Peterson. But number eight and number ten, definitely not. Where's Pete Carroll? Where the hell is Pete Carroll? For real. Where's Pete Carroll? That's what I'm saying. Really? He won a Super Bowl title, went back-to-back Super Bowls. And Pretty, he, and always he, in the he, mix, he the couple of la- losing seasons. He was in the playoff last year with the, with the unprecedented team. Well, yeah, with a what team? With the unprecedented team. <laughs> Precedented <laughs> team. He wasn't. Spo- you could just say it simply. He wasn't supposed to go. He wasn't supposed to be there, and, yeah. he, and he got and they there. did it. Yeah, he yeah. should be on the list. They're going to do it again. I hope so. <laughs> Better do something in Seattle. But he should be on the list. Right? He won two, two national he, championships he's in more college. Con- more consistency than number 10 and number 8. Definitely number ten. Why is ten on the list? That's my, who made this list. Who is it? I don't know. He didn't tell me. I don't. Pro, pro football, football focus. Yes, why? Do better. Do, do better. better. PFF. Oh, lame. So we, we mentioned. Shout out all my Seahawks friends. We mentioned Andy <laughs> Reid and Bill Belichick, okay. and they're on. They're like one and two on a coaching thing. I could. But see what that. makes them one and two on a coaching thing? What? But who's the most winningest out of there? It's Belichick, then Carroll, then then right. Andy Reid. So. Actually, I don't even think it's Andy Reid. Somebody I think, else thinks Tomlin. It might be Tomlin and then Harbaugh. Probably Harbaugh, yeah. So yeah. if you're going off winning percentage and overall winning over the time the time period you have, right? minimum 10 years, right? Right. Why but, wouldn't that? But, but what come does, on. But what does Andy Reid and Bill Belichick? Now I'm mad. What does Andy Reid and Bill Belichick have that makes them one and two as far as coaching? I, I don't know. They have, they have Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Yeah, I guess That's so. That's the only reason. Because when Andy was in Philly, he didn't have a Hall of Fame quarterback. And you ain't here. McNabb will be a Hall of Fame. No, he will No? No. Oh, I thought he would be. No. Just an Eagles legend? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't want me to say it, do you? I know what you're going to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it anymore. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think. That's the next shirt. Is like Hall of Fame worthy? Just spark the, spark the conversation. Yeah. I, I, I think that is the only reason why they're one and two. I'm just sad because that, think I'm just sad Pete Carroll's not on the list. Because think about it, without Brady, was Bill Belichick been? I know. Well, it's like Dwayne Wade and LeBron. So I go, oh, you didn't have Dwayne Wade or like Scotty with Jordan. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you never had no. Scotty. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah, Batman and Robin, right? Right. A little bit. Yeah. You you want to talk about Justin Herbert for some reason? Did you see his stats? Yeah, I saw his stats. What do you think? He's so since he's been in the league, he's laid all these stats. But like, how come their team is? Okay. Like, that's my point. Is how come their team is never winning? Really? That's why I'm that's saying. That's what I don't get. It's empty calorie stats. To me. So it's like Dak Prescott. Correct. <laughs> no, you're kidding. I know, I know, I know. I, know. I keep... <laughs> yeah, just going to figure it out. Figure out angles. I might do that too. What about camera? <laughs> <laughs> Viewership angles. No, uh, yeah, I think it's a lot, I think it's a lot of empty calorie because remember, he's never been to the playoffs until this past season and they lost a choke job. I know. So I'm okay, not... Okay, so what I, my point of me showing you that is just 
He does has the upside. He does does, does, does. He does have the upside. He also has the potential. You know what I'm saying? Kind of right. the same thing. But like, he has it. But can he get the help? Is it because it does it hit? No, he it's has like, the help. It's not like he's throwing interceptions. At are the, are in you the telling end me zone. he doesn't have the help with Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and Defense? Austin Eckler? Defense. He had it last but, year. They, they bought it into it. Yeah, but Jackson what was it. What's his Jackson name? went out the cornerback, and then the, and Darwin James, JC Jackson, right? JC Jackson, yeah, and Darwin James, Darwin James, Darwin James. Shout out both those guys, and then, dude, and, and they have Bosa. Yeah, he's inconsistent when it comes. He gets hurt though too. But I mean, you're supposed to overcome those, aren't you? I just looked at the lights. I was like, they better be the same color. I know they are. <laughs> at first, I was like, uh, oh aren't shit, they, aren't you supposed to overcome those things? Constantly thinking about how things are looking. Oh my gosh, like you in that shirt. No, I'm just kidding. Aren't you, aren't you supposed to um, overcome those things as quarterback? Yeah, I get it. So for me, it's, it's a lot of empty calories. I just don't think. Why are you raising your hand? Yes, sir. Yes, Nathan. <laughs> I just Nathan. I want. I don't want to forget my thing. Your turn, sir. Go, no, you got you uh, empty calories. I'm done. Go, oh, I lost it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. No, hang on. <laughs> he gets the help, but yeah, I still lost it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think the stats uh, tells the whole story as far as actually how good he is. Yeah. I know he's decent. Yeah. He's top seven in the league, probably. Yeah. But he's the, the, with those stats, he's not Dan Marino. No. And only, only Dan Marino's Dan Marino. Right. You are right. <laughs> but um, he's not that caliber yet, I don't think. Um, he's, he's almost, you, you know what he's almost like, honestly? Philip Rivers. Ooh. A lot of un- another Philip Rivers. Like, a, just always putting the stats, never got never there. Never got there. Charles Barkley. Why do we look at Sir Charles? Why does everything go back to Sir Charles? Because he was so good. I know. Dude, his Philadelphia days. When you watch those highlights, oh my and gosh. somebody goes, this is what bothers me about Patrick. You know who you are. When he's like, oh, in the 80s and 90s, these, yeah. these were non-athletes and playing against no, plumbers and no. stuff. Dude. Stop it. You see Sean Kemp's highlights I sent? Just, just to put it out there. I wasn't trying to make a point. It's like, check this shit no, out. He, he, Sheer athleticism. Pure athleticism. I have only seen. He didn't develop a shot until later. I'm pretty sure I've only seen J.R. Smith and Kobe Bryant do that reverse one-handed windmill on a on a baseline dunk, like off of off the catching the ball like that. I'm going to say Vince Carter and Kobe Bryant. Okay, I don't even think J.R. Smith has some wild hops too, though. New York days were wild. But I think I think Vince Carter. You got to remember that. Well, yeah, but, guy. but he was more of a three point shooter for us. He didn't really go to the lane and jump. Some of those alley oop dunks oh, he was getting man. though. Nice Nasty. When you're young like that, that's all you want to do is jump, jump and just smash the ball. Smash it. But like you look at Sean, you look at Charles Barkley. How big? Hey, he's only six four. I know. He he looked like you're six eight there. I know. Speaking of smashing, were you not playing in the league with the rims eight and a half? Did you see that today too? Or because I liked it? Is that what you no, saw? I, it? I liked it and sent it to you. Did you? Yeah. Yes. Would you? Yes. <laughs> Would you not play on that eight? And Hell half? yeah! yeah I would play on that shit. That I, remember, I, remember, I said that's better than slam ball. Yes. That's, yes, that's what I said. But slam ball is totally different, though. Yeah, it's, it's for people. Slam ball is like it's you're for, gonna you're it's gonna for those hurt. who can't jump. You're gonna get crushed in slam ball. Though. It's for those who can't like jump. you got to be. No, nah, some of those guys probably dunk on a real real hoop. There's big guys out there. There's big players. Yeah, that has the problem. They're too big to jump. Oh no way. They have pure power. That's it. I would love to see offensive linemen just go up there and smash on these guys. Uh, I'll get out there. <laughs> Why not? Right. Right. Oh. You, you have his alignment now? Is that what he said? No. That's Don't what, give in to that. That's, that's what your friend said. I know. <laughs> he said nose tackle. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah, so I think Justin Herbert has a lot of empty calories. That was my only thing was like, dude, he's so good. But, but is What's he? happening, though? But is he, No, though? no, no. But just listen. What's happening with the team? It's a team sport, obviously. So you need special teams, defense, everything. You need it all. Why is his stats looking so well, but they still don't look like they're producing like, like those stats show? I know it's empty calories because it's, it's, what, it's what you said. What am I? Am I missing? Is the it's, defense the biggest problem for yes, the Chargers? It's, it's what you said. It's a team game. It's got to be right. Gotta the be. Special teams isn't helping much. No, because you think about it. And now, Wait, it, don't they have Jim Fossil now? It, I don't He's know like who, special team crazy player. Know who was it Jim Fossil was for Cowboys? Jets, Giants. But he had coach no, for Giants. No, 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 no. Jim he was Fossil special was head, teams coach. But for he was head coach Cowboys for, Giants. for a long time. He was head coach for Giants. I don't believe you. Look it up. I am. Like I said, I just think it's a lot of empty calories for Herbert, and now the AFC is only going to get tougher. So you have an injury here, an injury there, your team's not just not going to make it that far. And so I, I can see a lot more. It could be either Philip Rivers or Brett Farvish. Was that right? What did you say? Giants? No. Oakland Raiders, Rams, 
Cowboys. Wait, wait. He was you, a who'd you say? Jim Fassel. Who was the Giants coach? Is it Jim Fossil? No. I'm talking about special teams coordinator that was I know, always but, but wrecking the Seattle a, Seahawks. Wasn't there a Giants coach named Jim? You're thinking of Jim Tressel. Is it Tressel? Yeah. No. Yeah. I might have made that up. You might have made it up. <laughs> no, I got to look it up now. now look, look at Giants coaches. I, I could have swore there was a Jim Fassel or Fossil or something. Look up Giant giant head coaches. No, not, not Jim Tressel. That's Ohio State. He never coached Giants. Did he coach Giants? No, that's, that's all I thought we said Jim Tressel. Oh, no. no. Go to Giants coaches. Look it up. Work the computer, man. You're the edit guy, man. Anyway, anyway, so here we go. List of head coaches. In, oh, list list of head coaches. What do you want to start? Two thousands. I want to say. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> holy shit, Jim Fassel. Boom! They're two different Jim Fassels. Oh, see, see that. Well, then there Crazy. you go. Wow, there you go. I wasn't wrong. I just shit. didn't know it was that Sorry, one. Away. Good I, shit. I didn't know it was that one. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Well, I was thinking of that skinny white dude over on on the he was uh, on the Rams forever, yeah, and he's always doing like when he was with Jim Fisher, uh, Jeff Fisher, they always were doing some wild. They weren't good, but they would do wild stuff wild on special stuff, teams. Right. Like they would do fake punts where like one guy thinks he's catching it, and special teams is gunning for oh, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And on then all the of a sudden, side, you see him just hey, oh my Isaac God. Bruce has the ball going that way. It's, what? That's wild though. Even, and you're like, no, so no, wild. no. <laughs> hey, like Ed O'Neill and um, Little Giants, Little Giants. Bobrowski, Bobrowski. I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> the little skinny the annexes, boy. <laughs> annexation of Puerto Rico. God, that movie's great. I got goosebumps thinking about that one. Yeah, so I, I, I knew the Jim Fossil in, in Giants Good head shit, coach. Yeah, hell yeah, crazy. Right. There's two Jim Fassels. Yeah, Fossil, Fassel, Fassel, whatever. Whatever you how you pronounce it. No, yeah, o, o one to o four. Okay. Whatever that says. Yeah. Okay. Wild. Wild. That's because you used to be an NFC East guy. That's I why. Know. <laughs> that's, why I, that's the only reason why I knew that. That's all right. Yeah. So in the NFL. Let's stay on the NFL. Another player got suspended due to PEDs. Oh, who I didn't see who it was. Cam Cam Robinson from the from Jacksonville Jaguars, the offensive lineman. He got a four game suspension. Now let me ask let, you a question. Let, let him do it. Let me <laughs> ask you a question about the PEDs. Why is it that when it comes to the PEDs in the NFL, we the media, the fans are like, eh? But when it comes to PEDs in baseball, we're like, what the? Fuck? Well, there's a, there's a there's set a precedent with the. If I'm saying that correctly. Hey, we don't even test it in the NBA. What? No. No, they don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, Zion, just take all the stories, please. Stop <laughs> Lo- eating ham. And lose the go- weight. Yeah. LeBron, we'll get into do your things so you can last 20 years. No shit, right? I mean, I would do that too. Anyway, so what I, what I was going to say is, I forgot. <laughs> That's the second time today. <laughs> That's the second time I forgot. I had a good train of thought. We were talking about about the, oh, I said PEDs and football. It's because and, and the baseball. sports writers put it in your head. Because the sports writers are the purest. The purest out there are like, we want the M- MLB to be pure. We don't want any steroids. We need no no tarnishes on our on our beautiful game. It's a wonderful game. It needs to be adjusted like any other game in the world. Well, I, think it, I, think, I think this new adjustment is helping the game, dude. Great shout right? out Mariners for winning this weekend. Two one. Hey. I'll take it. Take we, it we, serious. We lost to the we lost lost to the Washington Nationals, dude. Dude, we lost to the Cardinals. Aren't they good though? No. Uh, ooh, is is Goldie gonna get uh, traded out? I hope so. He's not gonna be a Yankee though. No, right? no, no. We have an All Star first baseman. Take <laughs> you have an All Star first baseman, Ty France. He's not doing good though. But you have an All Star first. No. When no, you look at the wrist, I don't want to hear. When you look at the wrist, no, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. When you look at the RSP, he's not doing good. Well, it doesn't matter. You, yeah. have a, you have an all-star first base. Did you see the collision today? Yeah. Who was at fault? The uh, defensive guy. Third baseman, right? Yeah. Oh, dude. We were outside in the pool, and I was like, oh! Because France is supposed to avoid- He tried to avoid it. He did. He- so the other guy, this Megan doesn't believe me, and I've watched this highlight 40 times. When, uh, I almost said Yandy Diaz. It's not Yandy Diaz, but um, whoever that guy is. Frank- third- was it Franco? No. No, no, not Franco. W- Wandy Diaz. No, it wasn't y- Wandy either. It- either way. Julio. <laughs> One of those Rodriguez Ramirez. <laughs> this, is, this guy is in the islands. <laughs> so Escobar. <laughs> yeah, he's close. Yeah. So I think in his peripherals, he saw him coming and he missed the ball. Like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get nailed because he didn't. Dr- his elbow wasn't flattened out like right. he was really reaching. Right. So I thought, okay, he's g-, and then I think he was doing this, like kind of looking of course, to the side. Of course he was. And Megan's like, no, no, no. He was he was going for the ball, and I go, 
he held up because he was going to get hit and he knew it. For sure. You feel it coming. For sure. Hey, and Ty France, he locked in. He was like, let's go. Let's go. That's a big boy. Well, that started the rally. We saw, too, we saw uh, Ty France at spring training a couple times. Yeah. He's big. I mean, Cal Raleigh's moss, massive, but your catcher's supposed uh, to be big. Excuse me, sir. Caleb. Caleb. Caleb is massive. <laughs> Shout out Caleb Raleigh. Hey, I got to give it to Tom Murphy, dude. Yeah. Killing it right now. Is he younger? Yeah. By, like, not much, but yeah. Okay. Hey, he's doing great. Good. Cal, don't get me wrong. One of my favorite players, favorite Mariners will always be one of them, but dude, Tom Murphy. Well, you got to go where the bats are going right now. No, you, uh, catchers don't play all, every day. That's true. But so, so when it, Tom is playing, he's usually the third game in the series. Right. He's killing it. Good. Like he has a really good hitting well, streak it, right but now. But it could be because he has more rest too, though. Yeah. So he's fresher. I think the also like, break like, is gonna be needed. Like, like if you, God, it, I want the Mariners like to play if, if, if you switch the roles, what is this on your finger? Why is it that way? What's the blue one for? So it's a it's it's called it's called. Uh, we we don't. I, we don't let each other finish things. <laughs> we don't. Let me finish this first off. If you switch the roles, I bet it'll be the reversal. Kyle Raleigh, Caleb will have. It could. Well, know, he's a great hitter, though. Right. He is a good hitter. So it's it's July and uh, Jamie's mom's birthday. Right. So this is her colors. Got it. That's why I understood. Went. Yeah. Love it. Um, so great. other than the PED suspension, though, the year-long gambling suspension of like four players. Now, is the NFL hypocritical for yep. suspending these guys? A thousand for- percent. I agree. You didn't finish, That's like saying we sell a shit ton of cookies, but don't eat them. Eat them. What? What do you uh, mean, don't eat them? But they're delicious oatmeal raisin uh, cookies. Ugh, no, oatmeal raisin. The Costco oatmeal raisins. No, pretty oatmeal good. raisins. Ugh. Should I be using a better example? Yeah. Which favorite cookie? I'm not telling Snickerdoodle? You. No. What? Don't say it like that. It's my favorite. I know it's yours, but not mine. Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't make Oreos without uh, Oreo. Okay, chocolate chip then. There you go. Like, well, who makes a homemade, like, you know, like peanut butter thing like that? No, I do. No. I know I do. Yeah. But if I had to choose between chocolate chip and peanut butter, then it's, it's chocolate chip. Let's just bag if this I had to go get cookies and chill out. If I had to go, <laughs> if I had to go, you know what I saw? What? Tell uh, me. On, on on the Tiki Tok? We got to get bigger on TikTok. We're getting close. We're getting close. I'm okay. trying. I'm trying. On the, on the, on the Tiki Tok, I saw that you freeze your Oreos. And it tastes like an ice cream bar. Let me guess. From Michael the, St- Michael the Stallion? What's his name? You know the president of the fast food club? Yeah. You know no, what I'm no, talking about? John. 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 John the John Stallion? Stallion? Yes. Shout out John yes. the Stallion. Yes. He's always like, come here. Come here. Close up. Get closer. <laughs> he puts out the come, recipes come here, of everything. Yeah. And people, he, people hate he did it, right? Yeah, he, he, Is that he, what he, you he, saw he, it? He, he did double stuff and then a mint. Mint and, and, and thin, thin mint. Yes. I am, I'm trying. I'm That's my a, new favorite account. I'm buying a package. Other than, yeah, other than like all the other local accounts we talked about, like he's I've so we do it tomorrow. Yeah, right. We're hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I forgot. So you want to do the double? Okay, you buy one. I'll buy the other one. I'm gonna put it in my freezer. I'm in. What are you gonna buy? So I don't double up. Um, I'm gonna buy the mint. Okay. You buy the. Want me to buy the thin or the regular? I buy just double stuff. So. No, no, no. You want me to buy the, the thin mint or the, or the regular mint size? Oh, it don't matter. Okay. Whatever you want. Yeah. Dealer's choice. I'm going to get it tonight, and then we'll, we'll freeze it, and I'll bring it I'll over. I'll tell my wife, hey, yeah. go get this. She might have went to Costco. Oh, well, they don't have it there. Oh. They had, they had like, the reg- original originals. Yeah, a bunch of, yeah. It's okay. But anyway, NFL, NFL should not be suspending these players. For- no, they shouldn't. I don't think we so. went from NFL being suspended <laughs> from gambling to cookies. <laughs> Just cookies. <laughs> cookie cookie monster. Cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> We're so stupid, dude. <laughs> what's, it, well, what's in these beers? <laughs> I don't know. It's good shit, though. Yeah. I've been, hey, I didn't get crazy today because I was waiting for this when you told me, like, let's do it at 3 30. I was like, okay, what's it? But then you were like, you text me at 3 19. And I texted you 20 minutes earlier. Yeah. I said, please let me know. Because you were texting, so I didn't know where you were. Right. And if you were just chilling or what. And then you're like, come over now. And I go, I went outside because I waited two minutes to see if you answered back. You didn't. <laughs> you answered three minutes later. I know. I, I'll take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there going, I'm going back outside. I know. I was, and I went and shotgun a, a beer with the shot fun. I was, taking, then, I was taking a piss. And then I came back out like, oh, come on now. <laughs> where were you today? Oh, no, a friend's house. How many friends do you got, man? Oh, I got a lot. I don't like that. I know. I'm selfish with my friends. But you're you're my number one, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm selfish with my friends, and I don't like that you haven't been in my house this weekend. We potentially have a 4 well, well, okay. Well, yeah, so I'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not till the evening. Well, let's do breakfast on Tuesday. 
But I thought you guys had shit to do. We can go. We can go dinner Monday, and then breakfast Tuesday. See, and man, see, my wife has this problem too. She goes, "We love them. Why don't they hang out with us?" And then breakfast Tuesday. And you know, shout out our producer. Still fill out the app. <laughs> You're fired still. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you got to re- you gotta reapply, dude. You got to reapply, dude. <laughs> Shit. I don't even know where I came up with that. I that was bad. awesome, though. He was mad. He's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> I love it. They're no. just chilling at their house, and Megan goes, why aren't we over there? And I go, I don't know. Well, they didn't invite us, so you got buzzed. That's what I said. I called him out. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> that Roomba. We love, you. We, love, we love you guys, so we're going to hang. I'm very selfish with my friends. I know. And I don't like that you didn't want to hang out. I do want to hang out. I don't out. like that you had someone else. I'm sorry. I'm jealous. Okay, listen. I had fun without you, and uh, you should be having fun with me. But you know, I, I'm a planner, right? Yeah, I know. So I set these things up in advance. Yeah, but don't do that, though. <laughs> Just don't do that. I set them up in, in Dude, advance. I thought you were going to be mad when I said, yeah, it's annoying as hell. I know. I mean, <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm not, I'm not mad. Hey, but. told you he spelt it. <laughs> Look. He did. He was holding it like this. Good job, Jax. Yeah, so you know we set up in in advance, and so that's why I try to give everybody their the time. But they're not as cool as us, though. No, I know you're, you're they're, the man. They don't even listen to this. You're the man, right? They don't listen to no, this. No, no, no. Right. So, you ready to change sports? <sighs> what do we have for football? That's like okay. So nine nine left, right? Nine, nine Sundays. Sundays. Well, including today's ten, but I mean like right. nine Sundays until until the season starts. Oh hey, you've seen all. Oh. That? The NFL goddamn rules. Did you hear about this? Shit? Did you hear about this? I feel some kind of way. I feel like they're targeting. Well, let us have it. I Jesus. feel like they are targeting a system. The, 40, this, the 49ers hey, run. Hey, is this going to be a black thing or what? No, I'm just it can't kidding. be. Just kidding. It can't be. The 49ers run it. Baltimore runs it. Um, Seattle. Seattle runs it. Um, Steelers. Steelers run it. Mm-hmm. Cardinals run it. Yeah. Kansas City sometimes run it. They are going to they are going to penalize you. You can no longer hand the ball to the running back in front of you. What? So the read option basically is gone. If you do that, it's called illegal forward pass. Are they, what? You have to. You, you can't pitch it. You you can pitch it, but you can't hand it off. That's dumb. You have to only hand the ball off behind you or to the side of you for a running back. They're going to allow that dumb rule and not let us look at pass interference? Correct. They, the, correct. Are they trying to screw things up on purpose? They are. I don't like this. Which is why. This is news to me. But, which, which is Did you hear what, this today? I heard this yesterday. Which is why I, I, it makes sense now. Like no, for, it doesn't. Like for, for, for my no, team. No, it doesn't. Well, no, no. For my team. You're a running back. For, well, for my team, it makes sense. Why they are going a different direction from Greg Roman? Because that's his offense. So they had to change the offense. Okay. Because the new rules coming and being placed, put in place. So they can't do that read option anymore. Which is why Lamar hasn't been doing that as much last season. Because he has to get used to not doing it anymore. Did they know this was coming and that's what's happening? It had to have been. I never even heard of this. Yeah. It's 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 under the radar secret rule. Now, if it stands, I don't know, but it's in the rule rule books. If the quarterback hands the ball, was this voted on in the the owners? It meeting? must have been because it's because it's part of that new rule change where like if if you fair catch it between twenty five yard line, it's now balls on twenty five yard line. Dumb. So it's part of that whole new Dumb. M- new rule package. Just go back to the other shit. Sign the waiver and get smashed up. I agree, but I know it's not. So also, the, so also, the, so bye bye to the read option, which a lot of teams do that. Chiefs, a lot of teams do it. But Dolphins. Eagles. That's what I'm saying. A lot of teams do it. All these mobile quarterbacks? Correct. So what does that tell you, though? They tar- To me, they're targeting a certain group. Black people. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. Black quarterbacks. They're not, though. Who else is, mo- who else is doing it? Josh Allen's white. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey, Dak Prescott's pretty white, though. <laughs> yeah, but they don't do the read option, do they? I know you're, like, very pro-black, but... You know that's not a race thing, right? You do know that. What? It's a football thing. You're messing with me? No. Stop it, James Miller. <laughs> I was like, dude, no, 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 no. No, it's a football hey, thing. Hey, if you want to get into it, we could talk about the no, no, uh, no. the thing they got the Supreme Court just took uh, away. What the heck was that all about? I my only opinion is I get the I get the one part where it's like no segregation, no nothing, no, no, no one side gets an either advantage either way. I get that part, but also there was a reason it was in place. Correct. And we're not all the way there yet. Right. We're there more than people think. We're closer. 
Well, not there. How do you want to say it? Closer. You know what I'm saying? But let's just like, call it what it is. But then you you're, know what I don't like? It's you're, like you're put. You're putting. They just go. The last president set it up like this. I'm like, he has nothing to do with he it. Has nothing to do with that. That dude's battling legal battles right now. He has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do. With okay. It. Right so whatever's happening, it, it just also like just to relax. I'm not saying they're targeting black quarterbacks. I'm I'm saying they're targeting a certain style of system, which I don't understand why they're targeting. That's a, all it would be the yeah. system when the system is actually making the game interesting, much more fun. Right. If you want to target something, if you tar- lose quarterbacks, you got to do the wildcat. You're well, the running read option. If you want to do something, <laughs> then target the damn push the push. Uh, Thing, where, they, where, they, where they push you from behind. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's it called? The push sneak or whatever. Oh, legal, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking about on the, the yeah. goal line? Yeah, or anywhere. Oh. Fourth and one, push yeah, the yeah. Like That is not football. That's rugby. That's true. The read option, that's football. Because yeah. you have to be able to read if the guy is... What's the difference between a read option and a play action pass? I know the running back's behind you, though, and you're going mm. like this, play action pass. But isn't the read option just... just so that means no more jet sweeps? They have to. You can't hand it off. You got to fit it. But jet sweeps, they usually toss it. No, nah, no, they don't. They just come come running around. And we play the Rams every year. Oh. They're really good at that. What I'm saying, though, so now you're going to get a lot more fumbles because you got to pitch it. I don't see the league going defensive because it's geared toward fantasy well, football. Clearly Their not. safety rules are geared toward fantasy if, football. If you're, if you're removing the running game from the quarterback who could produce more fantasy stats for you, like the Jalen Hurts and the Mar Jacksons and Josh Allens sure, and all those sure, guys, sure. Then you're taking away from fantasy points and fantasy. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, so like, why would you do that then? But that that's my point to you is like, why would they do that? They well, they are. That's a weird one. Yeah, I need clarification. No, yeah, it's in the rule books. I'll, I'll show you later. No, I believe you. But I was freaking furious. You should be. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. You just take, and not just for my team. Hey, close the door. Close the door. Love you guys. Close Love the door. You. Um, but. It's just, it's He's just probably those, giving one to Cameron. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be sure. It's just one of those things where, like, I don't understand the benefit of that rule change. I understand the fair catch, the player safety, but the read option, what is that? What are you taking? What, what are you doing? So, I mean, you're telling me that the quarterback cannot run with the ball and then all of a sudden just pitch it? No, he can pitch it, but he can't hand the ball off in the guy in front of him. So, you oh, know. So, you can't have a guy come in between you and the center. Correct. That doesn't happen that often, though. Because then have, you get tripped but up. But that's the read option, too, though. In a way, yeah. yeah. The guy set it up like that. Right. What if you fake hand it off? Can you still do that? You can fake hand it, hand oh. off. But you can't hand it off. The moment you hand... That's, that's mo- where it gets weird, though. The moment you hand the ball off and the guy's in front of you, then it's a legal forward pass. Mm. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be inter- interesting. I want to see how many times they call it, though. No, you're wrong. You're not wrong. That's going to be different. Right. Hmm. What else you got? <laughs> hope, hope that was good enough context for the NFL. No, that's plenty of context. Let's move, let's move on to another sport. Well, I mean, what do you, what do you want to talk about, Aaron Rodgers? No, hey, no, you, no. Want to pass, you want to talk about the best deep ball passer? T- Tua? Geno Smith? No. That's it. I'm not even putting Tua in there. No, he is. No, he's not. They said last year. Last year's deep no. ball passers. You know how many times he underthrew the, the deep ball? But his percentage of deep ball passes, 40 yards or more, he's they, number one. Because they caught it, that's all. But not, not because That's he, what the receiver's supposed to do. No, it's not a beautiful pass, though. I ain't putting them in there. Nope. Not putting them in Nope. Nope. Gino. This is my Hall of Fame stats. Not putting them in there. But that's part of the thing. No. That's part of the stats. Gino is good. Gino has one of the best balls in the league. Gino's good. I think Josh Allen has a good deep ball. Yeah. Mahomes Aaron, doesn't throw the ball that deep as you no, think. No, he doesn't. He knows it, too. Yeah. He says it. He goes, I can't throw that ball that hard. Herbert has a good arm. Yes, he does. He's got a cannon. Mm-hmm. Derek Carr has a cannon. Derek Carr does have a cannon. But it's not a good-looking ball, but he but has, has a cannon. cannon. Lamar is not consistent enough, but he has a good arm. I think Lamar has a great arm, but he's not consistent. I don't think he gets enough attention on his arm. That's, I, oh, that's I, what, no, I know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I, I just say it. The eyeballs, I watch him throw. The eyeballs that people say that are watching things don't actually watch things. He could throw a laser. Yes, he can. Like on a rope. <laughs> he's kind of like a right-handed Michael Vick. Michael Vick had a strong ass arm. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. Yeah. Michael Vick just turned what forty-five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he had a birthday. 45, 46, something like that. Shout out Mike Vick. Shout out Mike Vick. Dude, there was I, I, no I wonder, better. I, I wonder if he had a, a pit bull for his birthday. Oh, my God. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's my white version. It's, wait, you said, wait, what are you saying? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> That's my white version? Yeah. But what else, how else would we have wrapped that up? Why does that have to be black or white? What are you <laughs> talking about? Because of the NFL. I'll just continue on with that oh. whole thing. NFL's racist, everybody. Okay. 
All right. <laughs> the NBA had some serious thing going on this past weekend after Friday midnight. You know what I don't like? There's like no coverage of all this action. There's so much going on. You know why? Because ESPN's firing everybody. No one can do anything about it. They're like, we want to talk about it. You're fired. Oh. Are they firing? Did they fire Max Kellerman and Jalen Rose because of first Con- take? Contracts are too big. Because of first take? Because they're terrible. One, their takes are not great. But because, that's also no, 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 a producer no, no, no. problem. Because be- no, 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 no. The show first take. Because Jalen Rose was married to Molly. Yeah, but that was and Max that was, was last year. And Max was with, but they had his contract still, so they wait until his contract expired and get rid of his ass. Probably didn't want him around anymore. Out with the old and with the new. It's what's yeah, but happen. I like some like like Susie. I, I, I love Susie. Yeah, but Susie Colbert was already twenty seven years. There, yeah, I know. So here's the thing with Susie: she's gonna go do nonprofit stuff, and she wants to do yeah, that. I know, but she's I, made enough money. She's I'm gonna, good. I'm gonna miss her though. I, I enjoy. I her. like Susie Colbert. I enjoy. You know, I'm gonna miss Jeff Van Gundy. Me too. I think that Van was, Gundy and Mark Jackson. I think that was the NBA pool. Why? Oh, you want him in? The, they want him coaching. No, they're they're tired of him bashing the referees. Then do better. I'm just saying. No, I'm saying. Then do better, NBA. They are tired of him bashing the referees they, during the national televised game, so everybody sees it and hears it. Mark Jackson doesn't. No, not like Jeff Van Gundy. No, I'm not saying yeah, not yeah. like it, but so, he does so, do it. So I think that's why they, they said NBA. And Mike Green's in there going like, all right, bang. I think, so I think the NBA, <laughs> NBA was like, you need to get rid of this guy. Oof. If you want the, our contract with you for TV money, because their, their TV money's coming up. No, I know. I guarantee that's oh, part that's of it. Oh, that's tough, man. Right? That's a tough one. Got to be, though. There's too many good good guys that just. Why does the mafia covering up the referee scandals? Come on. I know, because the money's involved. I know. So the biggest NBA free agency news. I'm gonna have a few. Which one do you think you you are? So far, what I what I I don't want to say it's the biggest one, but Kyrie re-signing with the Mavs okay. and staying there, which so, was okay. kind of shocking. Kyrie staying. Uh, Beal going to the Suns is a big bigger deal than most people think. Lakers turn to an undrafted point guard rather than going after Fred Van Fleet. Well, Van were, Fleet and Brooks, you know, stealing 260 mil from the Rockets. Whoa, stole it for real. Like. I didn't see Van Fleet getting three years, 160 or 120. 130. 130. Either I, way. I didn't see that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the four years. Baller, though. Don't get me wrong. That's no, three years. No, no. I, three years, baller. I, yeah. Straight up baller. And Rockets need help. But here's the thing, though. They're not winning chip in three years. No, no, no. So. Contenders? He, he, went, he went for the money. Uh, not contenders this year, but like playing? Yeah. That's I mean, what you go as a I team. Can, if you're see, that team I right now, see. you just go. Playing. Okay, let's go for the plan and go see where playing. we go from there. Yeah. Playing. Top. You go, you go 10, 9, 8. Ranking. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Ooh. There's a bunch of uh oh, I have, that nothing I have, happened I have a, I have a that nobody's talking about. I have a conspiracy too though. Uh, Hell yeah. Hold on. Fuck. Then Hell yeah. conspiracies, baby. So uh Buck is is back in Middleton's back in the Bucks. Yeah, I didn't know how you said that on the text. I was like, I get what he's saying, but I don't. Buck in the Middleton. Like, Lopez and, and um, um and Middleton. Middleton. So he opted out to re sign just like Draymond re signed with the Warriors Correct. too. He got a hundred mil. He got 100 mil for four years. So his, and nor Jordan Poole. His annual deal is less than what his player option was. He just got out of it, but it's fine. more years. That's fine. Yeah. Dude, Warriors, Warriors got to have but Draymond. It's not going to work with Chris Paul. I'm sorry. Anyway. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Explain yourself. It's just not. I don't see Chris Paul's style of game work fitting with. What Jose do you mean? Warriors. A distributor? What? He's slow. Oh, give the ball to Steph? He's slow. Nah, I know you hate this guy, so keep going. CP3 and Steph cannot be on a court at the same time, I don't think. Oh, that what? That what? He's gonna start for him. No, he's not gonna start. He's, Steph is not gonna be point guard tomorrow. He's gonna be two. He's Clay's gonna be three. CP3 is gonna come off the bench because it will prolong his longevity. He won't be injured in the playoff when they really need him. I get your point. I just don't see that happening. I okay, think, so put him on the floor. Put him on the floor right now. Clay, Steph, small. CP3. They were eating up alive. Wiseman. Those old. No, Wiseman's Draymond. gone, dude. Wiseman. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, Kaminga, Kaminga, and uh, no Wiggins. Kaminga will come off the bench. Kaminga will be okay. A six. So then Kaminga you're gonna put Draymond at. Is Draymond guarding Brooke Lopez? He has to. <laughs> He'd guard anybody. He has to. Would you say Draymond can guard anybody? Draymond is a very good defender. Is he better than Patrick Beverly? Who went to the 76ers, by the way? He did go 76ers. Uh, but he's one of those types Draymond, that. Draymond is the Patrick Beverly of the low post game, of the three fours and fives. Beverly is the one I don't and think two. they're the same person at all. I think they can defend. Like Beverly, I think I you're think, mixing up their shit talking and their antics with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Very, good, very. I could be, but no, they're not the same. I, I say they were. They're both very aggressive on defense. Yeah, and they're both they're both very vocal on and off the court. That that's fine. I think they're two different defenders. Who would you want? Draymond, hundred percent. 
Draymond can cover the post. Perimeter wise, I will take Beverly. Okay, what's the game played at? Perimeter. There you go. But Draymond's better. Oh my God. You know why? Makes no sense. Because he he's already won Defensive Player of the Year. That's the only. That's the only. So awards. Do matter. I need another award so to tell award, you? So awards matter. So but when I, when I nope. talk, no, 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 no. Don't get it. It's not no, a segue no. to that. When I talk, it's not no, a segue it to that. Segue. No, it's heck not no. a segue no. to that. Look at that. When I talk about the damn Pro Bowl, I'm and you like, you like. <laughs> When I talk about the damn Pro Bowl, he said Pro Bowls don't matter. Pro Bowls don't mean shit. But when every when, but when any time they, they bring up Pro Bowls on an NFL player, that is included into why they are being great. Hurry up, get your nonsense out of your mouth. It's not nonsense. It's it's listen, the facts. Listen. Awards make a player great. You're mixing up the context I have with Pro Bowls, and don't do that, because that's not what I said. It is what you said. I said Pro Bowls aren't as prolific or as they don't matter as much because there's so many guys that are like they, I got elected to a Pro Bowl but then like they go five guys down the roster and go you're in now you're like oh sweet but they do but they didn't earn it they're there just because but they always announce the Pro Bowls meaning that's part of the you're a 10 time Pro Bowl that was why his greatness is existence whatever you just said doesn't make sense <laughs> it's damn beer they o- <laughs> at least you agree with me <laughs> they o- they always announce the Pro Bowls as to why this person is great as a okay, great player no I, I get it I just what I'm so saying so Pro Bowls is, do matter in a way because the context in matters in a small way it does matter not it's, really though it does matter Marcus. now I look at the all pros as like that's the shit right but that's Pro- what I'm saying but awards matter and Pro Bowl is, a, is an award and that's all I was saying yesterday no you weren't Yes, you it, got mixed up yesterday. No, I did not. Because you mentioned Carmelo Anthony, and I'm like, he didn't win any awards. Exactly. And that's why you don't put him in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. But I. Oh my but then you said Aaron Cause, Donald. Because he's like, well, Aaron cause, Donald's cause clearly he has, a Hall of Famer. Because Melo has all these All Star appearances. So that's, that's an award and an accolades. That's why I put him in there. But you're not, not looking at All Star appearances it, like, on, all, 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 like an All Pro. It, like comparing, all, for can, Pro comparing Aaron Donald to, to anybody in the NBA is no. You no. Know what I'm but what I'm saying is the reason why Aaron, Aaron Donald is a great player. Visually, but what I'm saying is, what makes him so even greater, and some people put him in his top three, which is ridiculous. There's too many good players in front of him. What, what, what exactly? But what I'm saying He's is, the definitely only top ten. Yes. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, top ten. Maybe even top five. Maybe. Yeah. But for sure, top ten. If he wins one more, which I hope they don't. If he wins one more and he, he gets like, if what if he, he got Super Bowl MVP or something? If he, if he wins a ring and and a defensive player of the year, top five. Top five. But what I'm saying is. The reason why we look at Aaron Donald as being so great is because what has he done and the awards he's gotten, the seven-time Pro Bowls, the ten-times Pro, the Pro Bowl. See, and to, to, but to me, or the All-Pros, to me, that's – Yeah. But that is included to I'm his, still lost on what your point is. My point is, without those awards, you wouldn't look at Aaron Donald being so great. Just like just like what you don't look at Melo being so great. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying Melo's not great, because Melo's an exciting you player. Because if you're great, you got to be in the Hall of Fame. But according to your stature – and you, what you need for Hall of Fame credentials, he doesn't have it. Okay. So if I agree but, with you on this, until, that's the problem. I agree with you on on your Hall of Fame thing one time, and now you're like, no, that's not what you're saying about my boy Mel- <laughs> about my boy Mello. And I'm like, Wait, this is your rules. I know. These are your rules. <laughs> I'm playing my Jay Miller rules. I was tipsy. Anyway. Um, oh, Pat was hot. He was I mad. I, I was know. like, just chill. It's all good, man. Yeah. We're just fucking around. And you know what? He eats something. He gets all angry. He gets all hangry at us. Well, all I'm saying is I think, okay, <clears throat> would we still look at a player the same if we didn't Frank have Cameron. the awards? That's all I'm saying. Is there players out there you're like, why aren't they getting the awards? For sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Like, we would not look at Tom Brady as, as well, I'm not going to say it, but – People, <laughs> it's touch and go, man. When you talk about Tom Brady, because you you can make an argument for the goat, or you can make an argument like he was part of a great few teams, right? You know what I mean? A great you few, can make either way you want to slide few it. Cheating teams, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, uh, what kind of teams? Cheating teams. I will say it proud. Cheaters. Anyway, Tom Brady wouldn't be considered a goat if he didn't have seven rings. Point blank. But that that was but, my point yesterday. Is like hypotheticals, though. You can't just say hypotheticals. You These can't say hypotheticals. Because that's a fact. I know, but no. What? Not. <laughs> Do you not think that? Okay, if he had four rings, Hold on. if he only had four championships, my point of, is, wait, 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 wait. You can't wait, take wait, away wait, things no, that stop, already happened. Stop. If he only, it's, it's because we always talk about hypotheticals all the time. What if this happens? What if this team wins? What if this team? We always talk about hypotheticals all the time. So yes, we can. So what I'm saying is, if Brady only had four championships, yeah. 
Is he the GOAT over Montana? No. Probably not. But the fact that he has seven, the, those extra three awards. I just don't like that you're taking away things that actually happened. Those, those, extra, three <laughs> awa- those extra three awards. But then what's the point of taking things away that already happened? I'm not take, that, no, no. It's for conversation purposes. That's, okay. the, that's the only right. point. No, I get it. That's for only, only per- my, per- my point is. You, you came at us like with facts and I go, no. Yeah, yeah because, no. because the award, cause what I'm saying right now is this. Look. I believe you. If, four, if he has four rings, he's not, he's not the greatest. But the fact that he has seven rings, which adds more awards to his, his, his arsenal. Six he's, of the Patriots, and he leaves, goes to Tampa, and wins one. Like, that's but amazing. He, but now, now he, he's considered the greatest because he has seven rings. But what I'm, so, I, I'm saying that those awards elevate your status as a player. Of course they do. That's all I'm saying. But Pro Bowls don't go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's that's hey, what I'm saying. Hey, I just mess with you. Okay. You know, that's all I'm, <laughs> that's all I'm saying is those, <laughs> those awards propel a player's status that's why they earn them. Of course, they get paid Correct. on them, all that kind of shit. Well, no, I, I get it. Correct. They get paid on them. No, I, I get that. It's incentive. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying he's not he's not a great player. I'm just saying those awards elevate him to be what he said top three. Fuck that. No, he's not top three of all time. You know, I, I can name three people ahead of him. Go. Right, right now. I was going to ask you. Go. Well, different positions. But well, just say defensive players. Defensive players. Dion. Yep. Reggie White. Yep. One more. There's shit, only one more. So you can go. Any, oh my gosh. Um, I can, I can go. Young blood. I can go. Uh, Please say Michael Singletary. Michael Singletary. I Jesus. Guess, well, I was, Michael Singletary. I don't know if I go Michael Singletary over Ray Lewis, but yes. Yeah, you could say Ray Lewis. I can say um, Ed Reed. Safety, best safety. Ronnie Lot. Safety. Ronnie Lot. Ronnie Lot. Big one. Um, well, who's better, Ronnie Lot or uh, Dion? Dion. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, Dion. I saw the highlights recently of Dion going back to Atlanta. Oh yeah. got traded. Hey, I watched that game with my dad when I was a kid. So did I. Did you remember? And they were that? slapping each other in the helmets and shit, him, and then they started him, fighting. Him and Andre, Andre Risen. Andre Risen. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I saw those highlights and I, I felt I got the goosebumps again. I was like, I fucking remember watching that. Yeah. I, I, I mean, shit. Even Charles Haley, man, he has five rings. Charles Haley, yeah. Charles Haley. Um, there's so many good defensive. So players. many good defensive players. So. But I'm saying on the Steelers that was amazing. Oh my gosh, who wasn't? Kevin yeah. Green, Greg Kevin Lloyd, Green. Um, yeah. the whole steel curtain front front yeah. four. Or even uh, Minnesota, the purple people, purple people leaders. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of guys. A whole bunch of guys. So I'm just saying, the the, the, the awards. Did you put James Harrison in the top ten? No, the award, <laughs> the awards. A guy that was always there, just never won any. Just won. He won two titles, but I mean, like he didn't win like awards. Exactly, the awards didn't elevate him because he didn't have any. It's crazy, right? That's all I was saying about about Aaron Donald. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand he's he's a greatest. He's a great player. He probably arguably top five defensive tackle of all time, right? I agree. And top ten defensive I want player. Him on the Seattle Seahawks. Top ten defensive player or of all out time. of the league. One of the right. Two. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Sorry. You, 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 Sorry, Aaron. You're either a Raven or a Seahawk or you're out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want that for you. <laughs> just but, but we don't play you till Super Bowl, so you know, it's okay. I'll take that. Uh, you know, but um. All I'm saying is, is how do we get back in NFL? I don't know. <laughs> awards. <laughs> oh, we we're talking about basketball mellow? No. No. Awards. What are we, what are we talking about? Anyway. I don't know. But awards propel player status. That's, all right, that's all, right. all I'm saying. I got you. And you guys weren't agreeing with me. It's okay to disagree. It is, but when, not when you're wrong. We're not wrong. You are wrong. No, we're not. Because a, you just said, yes, you agree with me that awards propel a player status. They do. That's all I was trying to say. Yeah, but you didn't say it like that. I did. Didn't Don't you? explain yourself again because we just lost the audience. I'm not already. going to. Um, <laughs> so Westbrook staying staying in um, Clippers. Clippers, but now he's staying for cheap though, right? So two years, eight minutes. Okay, he wants to win. But okay, but but wait a minute. Wait. He did great in the playoffs. He did awesome in the playoffs. Kind of a slap in the face when Jock Lendale gets eight years, thirteen million dollars, and he only gets two years, seven point eight million dollars. Yes, he's already had two max contracts, dude. He does could, that, why does that matter? Hold on. He could easily be out of the league. Okay. He could. He really could. They could go, hey, man, we, don't want, we just don't want to deal with it right now. Listen. Am Kyle, I wrong? Kyle Kuzma oh, just, signed, just signed his deal with, with the Washington does, Wizards. No, you got to ask yourself this. Does Russell think it's a slap in the face? Does Russell want to go to another team and get more money? Or they were, Steve Ballmer goes, hey, man, this is what we can do this year. And he goes, I'm cool with that. I bet he's getting money on the table. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. I they mean, all do something. Hypoth- hypothetically Either speaking. way. What's that? The what? Hypothetically speaking. I mean, maybe. 
Conversation okay. purposes. I'm just what I'm saying is I don't think he looks at it. He wouldn't assign that because I think he knows he could get more money. You can tell me he actually couldn't go to Utah and get paid more, or he can go to even Phoenix and go get paid more. He really could have. He yeah. could have gone to Houston and got paid more. He'd go to Houston again. Yeah, he wanna go do that. He wants to win. That was a waste, right? Yeah. He wants to win. Was, what, but that's my point. Yeah, I understand that. He's probably sick of it. Don't do not uh, now Russ was one of the hardest working dudes. Ever in the NBA. People were talking about he had a Kobe ethic, work ethic. Not Kobe. I think, I think he still does. But he has that, like, he's always in the gym. He's always shooting. Think, he's always working on his, his game. I think his mentality is Kobe S more than anybody in the league. And he gets a bad rap because, yeah, there's a couple years there where you're like, what happened? You were league MVP and you were averaging a triple double two years in a row. What? And you just, uh, the, it went like this. It did do like that. So I'm also was like, he, did he care? Maybe he just didn't. He goes, this is all for nothing. But did we, did we not notice his, I shoot, don't know his, him. Shoot, his shooting abilities before? Like, that's just wild. He's amazing. Like, he really is a great player. Yeah. He's the Hall of Famer, right? He's going to be, right? I think so. Yeah. And league MVP, first guy to average triple-double since Will Chamberlain, right? No, uh, Oscar. Bill, oh, Oscar Robinson. Yeah. Um, what was that, a 60-year record? Shit. Crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a whole bunch of moves we're not talking about. No, I like your, I like your, I like your, 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 the your MVP guy, the, the lefty. Going to the Sacramento? Dude, that's a good pickup. What? That's a great pickup. Hey, they're going to be dangerous. They're they re-signed Sabonis. Yes. Do you think he's worth it? Yes. Do you think he's worth it? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. He played hurt that's, in the that, playoffs. That's, that's a, hey, he was hurt in the playoffs. You know that, right? A lot of players are hurt in the playoffs. He was getting, he's getting, what was he after, 21-10? 90% of the 21 players. 21 and 10, and he 90 was aggressive. 90% of the players were hurt in the playoffs. Yeah, but he's, hey, listen to me. He was aggressive, and he averaged 21 and 10. I mean, almost 21 and 15, I think. Again, that series against uh, Suns. Sacramento top three again next year? They could. They, I'm going to say they could do it. I'm no, not going to say a, for no, sure. I'm asking you hypothetically. Nah, top five. Mm, top so five. who's top three? Next in the year? West. In the West. You, you're gonna. You're gonna like. You're gonna like this. I'm going to say Lakers are a two seed. I'm well, say, well, well, I liked it because you like LeBron. You're a LeBron dick writer. Okay, but LeBron doesn't mean I'm a Lakers. Oh, fuck the Lakers. I don't give a shit about that. That's Jackson. Lakers. I don't give a shit. LeBron. I want him to be to be Hold successful. On. So then there you go. I'm telling you. Okay. And you're, you're probably gonna have the Suns be number one. They're just gonna win. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. No. They will. No. Yeah. No. They will. Nope. It's going to be a totally different game now with them. Dude, they're going to get so many injuries and hurt, they're not even going to be on the field together. <laughs> they play on a court. But anyway. That's, that's right. Court. <laughs> <laughs> Damn beer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. Let's get serious. Uh, I'm going to probably say Sacramento is probably top five. Okay. I, I just don't know who's going to be number one seed. I mean, Denver. it'd probably be Denver, and it'd probably end up being like, Denver, Lakers, let's go Mavericks, Suns, and then Sacramento. Nope. Why not Mavericks? Denver. I said Denver. Sacramento. No, you're going number two? Yep. Don't disagree. Just you could say yours and I can say mine and be that that's what the conversation is. I'm disagreeing with you with your teams. I'm putting my teams. Go ahead. Denver. I think the Lakers are gonna be better than everyone thinks. Sacramento. LeBron don't have to do as much. Lakers. Mm. Suns. Golden State. I'm not even. I'm not even give them nothing. Dallas. I'm gonna do the same thing with Houston. Oh, number eight. Number seven. What? Memphis. Number eight. No one's counting the Spurs. No. Not even a playing team. No. Wow. But here's my conspiracy theory. Oh, I'm only waiting. For, you ready for an hour? <laughs> How long are we doing this? In the draft. We uh, are in uh, an hour. Holy shit! In the already. Happy Fourth of July. Go ahead. In the draft of next year's draft, the San Antonio Spurs will draft Bronny James. Wait, why do you think that? Give me your reasons. I just feel Pop is going. It pops and and Bron have a good relationship, and they're going to draft Bronny James, and they're going to bring Pop and Bron do. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Why isn't LeBron playing for the Spurs? They don't stay suck. So you That's go. You're LeBron. The team. Fo- everyone follows you. Money. At the time, it can't do it. So yeah, I think I think hey, he's going. Get on your app and watch. Tell him kids to be quiet. I think he's going to end, end his career in San Antonio. That's a weird one. That's a that's a because you have bronze. Can we bet on that? Because you have bronze. I want to bet on that. You have bronze experience and leadership to teach Victor how to be the guy, and he plays his one year with his son in a great environment with a great coach that that he never has had. He's never had a Hall of Fame coach in his career. Tyrone Lue will be a Hall of Fame coach. You don't think so? Is that is that out of is that out of whack to say? Yes. What? Really? Because what has he done besides he's, winning a championship with? Don't you okay? Don't say 
What has he done besides win a championship? With LeBron James, though. Okay. So did he actually win the championship? It's, it's, uh, it's like, are you giving, are you, it's, it's like giving. Um, Don't say Phil Jackson because that's you're going to be wrong. You're going to be totally wrong. He's won 15,000 titles. <laughs> no matter where he's at. No, only six. No, ten. No, nine. More right? than that. No, no, nine. As a coach, he only won nine. Six with, six they with the Bulls. They won four with the Lakers and six with the Three Bulls. Three with Oh, he won five with Lakers. Five with. Exactly. Like, what are you talking so about? He won 11. Yeah. Okay. But he always, yeah, Hall of Fame player. And one with the Knicks. No. Well, as as player, a player. As a player. Hey. Come on, man. I know. Hey, man, I feel bad, dude. Obi's gone. That's we sad. got his brother, though. That's true. <laughs> Which is crazy. Like, they drafted him excited. I know. Just so you know, you're going to Indiana. What? For two, two second round picks. So our that's not going to be in your favor. So that's our s- ammo for you guys to use against get somebody else. It has to that, be. R- that, what else? You, but you can't roll but, the dice but, on second round but, picks. But here's my here's my question though. Well, as I like far this as, shit. Let's go. As far as the Knicks' concern is now, who's the backup for Julius Randle? He's out too. So, so they're going to replace they're, both. They're those talking guys. about shipping him, Randle, and oh, RJ Barrett. They better not get this no. They're talking about give him one of the best wing players in the league, Paul George. They're talking about shipping those two out to the Clippers and getting Paul George. Not enough. It's not enough to get Paul George? Nope. You're out of your mind. No, because you're losing your, your low, low post game. Don't worry about it. You're playing the East. Who cares? No. Who are you worried about? Giannis, Giannis? and Brooke Lopez? And it's MB, one team. And Embiid? It's one team. And yeah, you worry about Embiid. He ain't going to be around to play. He's hurt. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Bam. I bet that was a... You know what, though? If he had, if he was on the Bucks, he'd be the power forward. I'm not kidding you. Correct. He's a he plays center because there's nobody else. Correct. Dude, the Heat lost. Uh, what's his name? Went to uh, um, Gabe Vincent went to the Lakers. I just said undrafted. I said Lakers went undrafted. You didn't say his name. I, I didn't know he went undrafted. Did you not know his name? Yeah, Gabe. Gabe Vincent. You, you didn't say that though. I didn't say his name, but I said they, they went. So, un- you th- so you, I didn't know. His I said stats. they went undrafted instead of going for. Fe- but hey, Fe- guess Blame. what? Oh, my hey, God. it's the Nova Knicks, though, bro. Now I you got know, Vincenzo the over there. That's just fucking stupid. <laughs> hey. Mikel Bridges, where you at? You gonna join? I know, I know. <laughs> you across the street, oh, man. Oh my god! So uh, wouldn't you, that be wild? So if they got Mikel Bridges, I can see them shipping off RJ. Yeah, you won't need him anymore. You won't need him anymore because you got a guy that can score and definitely plays defense. Yes, defense. So I can see that happening, but that's only if they get Mikel Bridges. Man. Vincenzo won't play that much, but you know yeah, it's, it's cool that he's out there. No, he'll, he'll be the backup too, or starting too, actually. You think he'll start? Why not? Ooh, if they get Paul George, he's not starting. No, 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 no. Paul George is three though. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was a two. Guy. No, he's a three. He'll be three on the Knicks. Oh, I just don't want to. He's, be a two. he's only a two on the Clippers because of Kawhi. That that Clippers team, man, I'm, I think they're screwing up if they give it up Paul George. I don't think so. I, I think I think. Are you think Kawhi's the guy? Like it doesn't matter who's around him. No, I think they get they they are going to be healthier. So if Kawhi goes out, if Kawhi goes out, they think, think about it. Think about it. If that Kawhi plays half the season, if that Clippers like team, if that Clippers team last year in the playoffs against the Suns, yeah. had Russell Westbrook. R.J. Barrett and Randall, do they win? It's very close. It's they're a better they're a better matchup with those guys against Denver. Correct. Right? Correct. No, no, no. I said the Suns. Do they win against the Suns? Oh, sorry. They, I was thinking ahead. Do they, they they beat the Suns, they beat the Suns in that series? Yeah. So what I'm saying is, you get Man, those, the Suns bother me with their moves right now. Oh, Except I'll, the one. Wait, wait. Except wait, the one. We'll get into it next. Yes. But I think with those two guys, you get younger and healthier. Yeah. So you ship out Paul George, and you know Kawhi's getting hurt, so he may not even be there. But if you have Russ, RJ, and Randall, you still have a chance to even win the next round and win that first round. So that's what I'm saying. Triple R, baby. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That took me four seconds. It does. Like, yeah, triple R. <laughs> but I think, I think that is going to be in favor for the Clippers. I think so, too. Now, the Suns making moves. Bradley Bill, Eric Gordon. We talked about that. Yeah, Eric Gordon. Yeah. I saw that this morning. Or and, this and, afternoon. and everybody is all hyped about it. It's not going to work. He's a good defender. I don't think he's a full time like uh, starter. They traded like one old guy in CP3 for another old guy in Eric Gordon. Yeah, but he's a little bit younger. But CP3 is better in my mind. It's correct. Yeah, so. Correct. Um, and you have. But five- hey, what did you tell me about Frank Vogel, though? What did you tell me? Defense. Yeah, that's what they got him for. Yep. You're going to need that in the West. Well, they don't have a bench still. They got that guy from Portland. They don't have a bench still. Did you not hear what I just said? He's not going to start. Did you hear what He's I said? He's going to back up. Did you hear what Miller said? 
They don't have a bench. Thank They're you. working on it. It's done. They have, they have a they have a full team already. Well, that guy they got, um, can you pull his name up again? <laughs> Drew, what's his name? <laughs> Drew. Uh, I watched his highlights today. That's how I was like, okay. No, he, he Drew went to his Kings. Not that guy. I sent you the name. Um. So here's here's who they have. Oh, Drew Ebanks, Eubanks. Yeah. No. They hey, have. Hey, go look at his highlights. Kevin Durant. He, play, he had solid. Devin Booker, for Bradley Beal, DeAndre on 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 Ayton. How are you Josh, gonna mess up your boy's name? I know. It's Dan Beer. Uh, Joshua Kobe, Yuta. A Kogi. Yeah, whatever. Not a Kobe. Yuta Watanabe, Cameron Payne, Damian Lee. Hey, Bates. the Watanabe guys from Brooklyn, the Japan Japanese guy. Yeah. He's Bates supposed to be Diop, all right. Drew, M- Metu, and Gordon. Not a very good bench. Write that down, folks. We're gonna see. Hmm? We're gonna see. They'll be top. So, they'll be top five in the West. I gotta see if that's still recording. <laughs> oh, that's oh, true. Oh, they'll be top five in the in the West just because of um, everybody below them is is less than them. But I don't see that team being anything. I think that team that team's gonna be the same team we saw this past year. They are going to be top heavy. Don't say. They're the gonna be, same. They're going to be top heavy. That's not true. Listen to me. Not let me finish. They're going to be top no, heavy. Now you're just going to switch gears because I called you out. No, I'm not. <laughs> they, they're, they're top heavy. Get to second round and lose. Same as this last year. Western Conference. No. They get there. Yeah. Semifinals. No. Stop. Okay. Well, betting on a hat again? Yeah, I'm going to get my hat back. Okay. <laughs> Suns will be out by the second round. No. Maybe even before. I mean, they very well could be easily a number one seed. I don't think the team. I don't think they're they are constructed to last an A two game season to be the number one team to win enough games number one seed with those guys because they're going to have to take rest and breaks and they're not going to play the bench and not going to win games. That's I'm telling you right now, it is true. They're beefing up that bench. They have some really good role players. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I don't agree. We'll see. I don't have a team, so this is all I got right now. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. They don't exist right now. And you it really bothers team. me. You have a team. No, I don't. Hey, baseball. Back to baseball. What happened last week, baby? Perfect game in Oakland. Yeah, against a single A Oakland. No, they're team. they are a major league baseball professional team. They have won at least twenty games, so that means they beat twenty other teams. Are they therefore yes they are. <laughs> therefore, they are a professional hey, baseball perfect team. Perfect game is no matter what. No matter what you do, perfect this game. That's badass. That's badass. That's good. That's good. Job. That means out of the eighty games, Let's go ahead and tell the folks oh, yeah. what his name is. Out of the Mongo Herman. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm surprised I did it right. Anyway, like, <laughs> there's eighty other teams that couldn't do a perfect game against a single leg team. So you, so Yankees have the most four, four. Mariners have one. Felix Hernandez. Twelve years ago. Uh, doesn't matter when it was happened, and then uh, who has the who has? Doesn't the A's have three? They're right behind you guys. Two or three, two or something three, something like that, right? Yeah, there's only a handful of teams. That one, yeah. you guys are the most. I think there's two that have t- three. Yeah, two teams. I saw the stat. I can't remember. Yeah, but there's only like Dodgers. Or, Dodgers have one. Maybe, yeah, do- maybe eight Dodgers or nine have it, so. teams that have uh, one each. Yeah, that still leaves like what a 10, 11, tw- 11 hey, 12 and Here's teams. the crazy thing about that perfect game. His start before that. He only, he only lasted three innings, gave up eight runs. Dude, what a comeback. Seriously. Dude, let's do, hey, when's the 30 for 30 coming out? Seriously. What if I told you I gave up 16 home runs in one inning, only to mount a comeback in the next game? You know, right. Whatever, however that goes. <laughs> July. That was a poor attempt. Yeah, a very poor attempt. July 2nd, ladies and gentlemen, in friend. baseball. July is the month of trade deadline in baseball. So, What day? Do you know? It's the last day. Last, last, last day. Oh, so they got a while. So what do the Seattle Mar- Mariners? Mariners. Shout out Nikki. Sc- Mariners, hey, Nikki. hey, shout out Nikki and JoJo Scarletta. Those boys, hey, those guys are hilarious. I love those boys. The twins. I don't know shout you. Shout out the twins. Personally, we're going to meet Let's up. just call them. We're going to meet up one day. That'd be great. It'd be fun, right? Matter of fact, DM me your number. We'll call you. Yeah, we'll call you. We'll set you up. We'll get you on this. Yes. We'll get you on here. Uh, what do the Mariners need to push them, push them over? Because I want to hear their take on Yankees. What do they need to push them over the top to get them to the playoffs? First of trade, all. Trade deadline. What would you want to give up to get what you need? Believe it or not, I'm not. 
I'm not picking up pitchers. We have it. We don't have bats. Okay, so what? I know all your new guys aren't doing shit. <laughs> Eric. Hey. Wait, Eric who? Isn't that your friend's name, Eric, in Seattle? Yeah. Yeah. Wong? Probably not a great idea. Told you. Ford? Yeah. But Ford we got mid, like, just, what, a month ago, yeah. right? Teoscar, doing great. His 17 home runs. He's 48 decent, ha- RBIs. He's a decent one for you. No, he he produces. Um, JP's not doing it very, very well. He's not. What are you talking about? He's worked his way into leadoff batter. JP has eight home runs, and he had only six last year total. Really? Can I talk about my team? I don't talk shit about yours. Go ahead. You ask me. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. say that You're JP's right. not great. JP is great. Not an all-star. He should be. It's not, so it's not great. Go ahead. Don't get me started on the all-star thing. No. I'm embarrassed. You should be. I your, am. Your whole season is embarrassing right now. I know it is. Hey, man, take it easy. <laughs> I'll wallow in my own self-pity. You don't need to inflict the wound. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, inflict I'm more into the wound. I'm going to do mine right now. So go. So what do I need? A bat. So who's out there that you want to Just give me two get? more bats. Who? Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, he's on a trade block. That's a good one, though. I heard he's on his uh, last year's NL MVP. Yep, yep. Oh, my God. Goldie, come home. That'd be a great one. He's not from there, but you know what I mean. That'd be a great one for um, you. Goldie would be good. I don't know where he's going to play, though. You can't. going to move him to DH? No, what no, you no. Gonna you, do? you play him first. Do you just move Ty France out? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Who would you rather have? Gold. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, then. I like Ty, though. I know, but Goldie. Got to do it. That's the thing. You get so close to these guys. You do. You see them at training camp you and do. all that kind of shit. Then you just kind of go, oh, I love those dudes. And then you're like, but I, I want to win, too. <laughs> you, 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 you can still support them, though. Nah, yeah, don't get me wrong. But you can move Ty France to DH. You, you need can you move Ty France to DH? You could. Right? You could. And if I had one more bat to choose. You need an outfielder. I, uh, this is going to sound crazy. I would bring back Slantana back. You can't. I really would. He's not leaving Toronto. No, I know. Is it Toronto? No, he's in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. He hit walk off three run home I saw, shot. I saw that. I saw that. Mariners get blown the fuck out, right? Sorry, that. blown the out. And then, uh, it was too late. 15 unanswered catching. on yeah. Friday? Yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, that's a, so sad. So two bats. You need, two, you need bats. I just need two more, right? Yeah. And Julio's young, so I give him a pass. He, hey, he went three for four today. He went three for four yesterday. Hey, our first six hits today, all doubles. I saw that. Extra bases. I saw that. I saw that. And then who hit the home run? You, oh, sorry. Eugenio hit a home run, so our first five were for doubles. They played hard today. I was proud of the Mariners. I'm not kidding. Like That team looks like... They see, look like donkey poop. But, but they, they have it, though, right? And, and then you're like... And that's what's so frustrating, right? Because you see the talent... They won the series against number one team. You see the talent, and you're like, well, why can't this talent just be consistent enough every single week? That's all you want. Uh, you're going to lose games. That's fine. But win series... Win series. Or tie series, depending on the, the matchups Stay or whatever. consistent with be Rangers. Consistent. Don't let the Angels catch you. I mean, don't just... They already caught them. I mean, it's same. You know what well, I'm saying? Like, like, get ahead of these guys. The Angels will fall back, though. It's that time, right? They, they'll, they'll fall back. I hope these boys take this weekend's thing. I Don't get me wrong. I, Castillo was kind of like, he's giving up six runs, but I was like, but they came back. They battled. Dude, what is that to the WR plus? Is it, what is that uh, stat, WRC plus? It's uh, something work, working runs. Oh. Uh, uh, that's not WRC. No. I'm fucking it up. WBC? Whatever it is. Uh, RBC? No, no, no. It's runs. W something. But it's a stat where it's like, how it's what Ryan really likes. It's like how these runs are manufactured. Like as a stat, the Mariners are actually like top five in that. Hmm. But but they're so inconsistent about it, you don't yes, hear about it. You don't. Yeah. Well, real quick, just gotta just gotta alert from my next um, people. They are not pursuing James Harden or Damian Lillard. Well, good. They they can't afford them. Well, they can't afford them, but they don't. No, they're trying to, to go Mikael Bridges, bro. I don't. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I I, I think you're right about the Mariners needing two bats. What though. about okay? So then let's talk Yankees. They're always talking about my teams. Let's talk about Yankees. They need bats. Yeah, they need bats because the guys that they have aren't aren't producing, and it's really it's, is it a no, midseason no, thing, no, and we're just panicking? No, they need health. <laughs> That's what it is right now. It's just health. Is it a midseason thing though? The, it's is, always. Do we all do this? It's always that, always a midseason thing. What do you mean? Because you, you look at the, how you are midseason, and you compare yourself to who we're are, four games out of five hundred. That's compare, not good. You compare yourself to who's already ahead of you. Like in our division alone is Tampa and Baltimore. Well, and, what helped you out today? And right below but us, you lost. So I, Toron- I only then, helped you so much. <laughs> I know. And right below us is Toronto. Like, everybody in our division is, I think, above five hundred. That's the thing is like if Mariners are trying to do something, what, like was it two weeks ago we were three games out of the last wild card spot. Yeah. Now we're like seven. Yeah. Now it's not 
not doable. You can catch, but at the same you, time, you can catch it's on like fire and get there. It's like okay, but, rip. Hey, just rip off like eight wins in a row. Because and next thing you know, you're there. Because unfortunately, I don't see Texas dropping off. I don't either. That's the number one offense in the league, right? And Houston is Houston. It's the number one. It's Rangers, and then at least offensive. I know the yeah. record. Record wise, Tampa. I want to say it's Toronto. Offense. Rangers wise. have the number one. No, 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 number two. I think Toronto. Oh, you're saying Rangers, Toronto, then Tampa? Because yeah. Tampa's, dude. Yeah. They can put. Back. I don't know what happened today. I don't but know. They, I'm glad. But it's That's why I was proud. It's, it's cool six runs, though. Well, we're in a Sunday best today, baby. There you go, baby. Man, I was nervous, man, the whole time. Most six one. I honestly want to turn the TV off. I'll be nervous too. But then I was like, you know what? We came back down from eight nothing in that playoff game. Yeah. <laughs> I think legit. I think I think the Angels are going to slide back. And speaking of the Angels, why is everybody? No, no, don't get me wrong. Let me first say this: <laughs> the Asian is going to be the MVP of, of a- the AL. Yeah. Okay. No, no. But yes, <laughs> it's not as impressive as you think. Let me let me, let me explain. No. Yeah, please do because he okay. also pitches, dude. Let me explain. Okay, as of Friday, June thirtieth, which is just this past Friday. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, he has an ear. He has an ERA of, of he had the three. He has a three point zero point three zero ERA. No, no, three point zero two ERA. Spit it out. I know, <laughs> but he only pitched sixteen games. Okay. Okay. Well, um, wait, 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 wait. Ten versus teams with losing records. Okay. And six teams with winning records. Okay. Okay. He is the 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 six teams with winning record. He's two and three. You're looking for the uh, no, no, no. The, you're looking for the. I want. I can't say that because he's Asian. But I had a saying that's common saying, and you know what I'm trying to say. Uh-huh. But I'm not going to say that. Yes. You're looking for a flaw in the armor. Well, there is a flaw. He wins ten games out of sixteen against a bad team with losing records, but he's two and three, which is lower than five five hundred against the winning team records. Do you think they just do this then, like slowly? Let me let me finish. Oh. Another I just want thing. Some hope. Another thing. His thirty home runs that he has as of Friday. Tied with uh, last year's uh, Aaron Judge. AL MVP, Aaron Judge. Only 10 of those home runs were versus winning teams. Still 10 home runs. Hitting a home run in the league is hard to okay, do. Okay, but what I'm, saying, <clears throat> what I'm saying is he can't hit against better pitching, which means that when it gets closer and closer down to September and August, sure. he's not going to be there. Yeah. Look at yesterday. He went 0 for 4 with, with three yeah, strikeouts. That whole week prior against a, not a very not an all star pitcher in the Arizona Diamondbacks. Don't get me. You leave the D backs alone. They're doing good. They are doing good. I'm proud of them. He's going to be the AO MVP. Hey, no, you're not. Just I'm say, proud of I'm proud of Diamondbacks for winning. Not really. It's always good when you when you live in a state or a city that your team is actually doing good and winning, so you can bash your on team? them. No, so you can bash on them when they're not, <laughs> or, or or when they fail because it's coming. Diamondbacks aren't going to win anything. They go. They go. They probably win, win the division. Man, actually, actually, we need to go do our thing with Sully. Yeah, we do. They might actually might not even win the division, but they're going to go to the playoffs. They're doing good right now. They're going to Corbin playoffs. Carroll's looking good. He should be the rookie of the year for sure. Oh no, he's and he's on top of the NL MVP. Who else is? I mean, you don't hear about anybody else though. You no, don't hear no. about any other rookies. No. Oh, the Cruz guy you, from Cincinnati. You, yeah, I was gonna say him, or you could give it to yeah, De La Cruz, right? The guy who yeah. just hit the cycle. Yeah. Crazy. Rookie hitting the cycle. That so. kind of kind of puts you over the edge, but consistency wise, Corbin Carroll. Um, Shout out Ryan and his newfound team. Newfound team, baby. The, the ex producer needs to reapply. So Zion has more problems in the. He's gonna hate you. I know. <laughs> Zion has more problems down in New Orleans. New Orleans. He got that baby girl pregnant. Allegedly. Well, that's what allegedly. 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 Um, I don't think. I think she's just a psycho. I think he has to be. He's he's out of there. He's not going to leave. I'll be shocked if he's, not, if he's not traded. He's not motivated. I'll be shocked if he's not traded. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, he's not motivated. He doesn't want to take care of his body. He doesn't want... He's gotten this huge payday. He's kicking it. He's getting a, plenty of attention from ladies. Too I, much. I want to be more vulgar, but I'm not, because right. we're on YouTube. Too much. He's getting too much attention from the ladies, and he doesn't care. Hey, he so could potentially... Would, so hey, that dude could potentially be top 10 player in the league. In a couple of years, he so could because of that, easily be so that are guy. You, are you saying because of that reasoning that you just put out there, which is why teams will not go after him? Yeah, because they're like, oh, no work ethic. Or they won't give him what they, what, what they nah. should give him give up. Hey, just go go play in Charlotte somewhere, dude. Or go play in you know, Atlanta and just kind of come off the bench because that's where you're going to end up playing. Yeah. And you're going to be like, I'm still in the league. And you're going to go, oh, I kind of accomplished things in my life. Guys will look at it that way where they go, well, I'm in the league. It don't matter. So should I call him Zion Klump? 
Man, it's close, dude. Right? He's a big boy. Take care of your body. Seriously, Zion, what are you doing? Hey. You have a if Jordan Brand shoe contract. Hey, some kids don't care about legacy, dude, and he's killing his legacy. Oh my god. He could be he he's, he could be Charles Barkley. Yeah. Maybe you don't win it, but you get an MVP. You're on top of the world. Hall you get big fame. shoe contracts. You could be a Hall of Famer. Like, don't you want that? I want that. He's got so JJ Reddick came out. Shout out JJ Reddick pod. What is it called? Uh, Old Men in the Three. So I'm about that. It's, it's great. It's a good pod. Uh, JJ came out when he was a he was a Pelican for a while, a couple yes. years, yeah. and he's like he keeps to himself. He he's not. A, he doesn't listen to the team much. He doesn't do too much team activities. He comes to practice every day. He goes to the games, obviously. But he's uh, he kind of keeps to himself. And he has his own circuit of people he hangs out with. Where JJ was like, that doesn't make you a good teammate, though. Say, You're quiet, that's, no, and, that, you don't, and you don't say anything to anybody. And then you do your thing on the outside, and we we have team activities. Or hey, we're having barbecues at our house, and he's just Sion goes, "Nah, I'm good." You know who that sounds like, too? Also, his buddy from South Carolina, John Morant. Yeah, yeah, he needs to stop hanging out with those yahoos. Well, I'm just saying, though. Well, like, no, you're not wrong. Like those that that kind of. I just wish Zion was better. That's just sucks. well. Here's the, that talent they is They don't crazy. have any veteran presence on that team. Well, I mean, now they do with with, with CJ. Brandon but, Ingram is the best player on that team. But he's not. He's not the veteran guy, though. No, but I'm telling you, and he might be shipped if, out. If, if I well, I would want to be. If I'm Zion, I I'm a competitive guy. So if I see I'd a guy like if I see CJ McCollum coming my door, I'm yeah. like, man, you ain't even kicking my ass. I trade RJ Barrett for In- Ingram. I, Dude, he was a Nick. Oh my God! Fuck. Hey, you're not instant, but you make a huge impact. Brandon Ingram is solid. You want to talk about good smooth jumpers? We talk okay. about Paul George, right? Yeah. Brandon Ingram has a good smooth Does jumper. Does the Clippers too. need to trade either Kawhi or Paul George to move on, no. or do they need to keep them? No, they, they can keep both and still do well. They will. I don't think I don't think Paul wants to leave, but if they because he's close to home, he's from Fresno. They and they went to Fresno State. I think that he would like to go. To New York and just experience it, but also I think he wants to win, and I think the Clippers are but he could, right here. But he can be. But wouldn't he make the Knicks right there too, as far as the East is concerned? Yeah, because in the East you don't really have that powerhouse. You know, you, you saw Milwaukee get beat by by eight seed. You Miami. have five teams. That you are saw great. Boston break down in, in there. Philly can't can't close. Man, no one's talking about Boston right now. Philly, they're not making moves either. Well, Chris Chris Depozingas is a pretty good move for them though. You have him and Al Horford Let, down there. Okay, how long are we gonna pretend this dude's good? Please tell me how long are we gonna pretend this dude's good. He's good. Tell me. Not great, but he's good. How many teams have you been on in the last five years? Three. Five years. Go back. How many teams have you been on in three years? How long have you been in Dallas? He went to Washington, Dallas, and no, now no, he's on he, Boston. No, he went to, from New York to Washington. He went from New York to Dallas to Washington to Boston. Oh, so four teams. But not, I don't think it's five years. So I'm asking how long he's been in Dallas. He ain't been in the league that long, dude. You want to look it up? No. <laughs> A better hat on. But he, but he, but he's good though, because because you can say the same thing about Westbrook. How many teams he's been in the last five years? And you, we already said he's a Hall of Famer. No, I'm not. Okay, and, and, and Chris Paul. Don't twist that up, because because we know Russ is good. He's an MVP. Kristaps hasn't done nothing. Has he I, made an All Star game? Yes. yes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, see, exactly. So that's what I'm saying is, how long are we going to pretend this guy's a good basketball player? Well, he's a good basketball. Player. I think he's a good basketball. Okay, player. you're in the league, so you're better than us. But right. at the end of the day. Are you a competitive basketball player? Are you a guy that's well, going to help the team win? Is he just Darko Milicic? He's just been a league. No, 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 no. Darko didn't even see the floor. I'm just saying. No, he played a little off. No, he did right. He played for a little while. No. And what my point is is he's not so, okay. Sorry for the bit. It's a good comparison. Don't act like it's not. Just saying that he's not. He can help a team win. He's not like okay. What was he number two pick? No, he wasn't that high. Yes, he was. He's he like top ten, four top or five. five. Well, not number two. Okay. <laughs> Top five pick, James Miller. Honestly, is yeah. he playing like a top five player? Now, don't hey take your Knicks bias out of your brain. No, 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 no. I agree with you. I'm just trying to. I'm going to say this one statement though. Say it. Out of the Damn, last hour twenty five. Okay, out of the last ten drafts, ten years. Sure. Of the top five picks, how many have actually played like a top five pick? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's more. There's, there's more misses. Than hits when it comes to drafts in the NBA. Okay, that part of that statement you just said, I agree with. But that first part, I was like, "What? You ever heard of John Morant and Zion? At least they're fucking winning. At least they're they? playing. Are they? Are they playing? Yes. Zion, Zion's playing. Believe it or not, Zion has a has a rookie record. He has a, he has a. That doesn't mean he's not playing. I'm just saying. 
Does it mean he's not playing? John Moran's an excellent basketball player. He's not playing. He's an idiot, but he's an excellent basketball player. He's not playing. Player. He's playing. He didn't play much last year. But ain't the first playing, three ain't years. Ain't playing, ain't playing play much this year either. Okay, so. so who else? I mean, you want to go down this road? I can I can go down this road. Yeah, go. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> I said John Zion. I'm saying he's there, and I RJ watched Barrett? that shit. Top 10. Top. He's not top five player, you said. He's not playing like top five player. You said top 10s. I said top five. Mm. You said top five, and I said in the last 10 years, okay. top five player. RJ Barrett's not playing like a top five player. You, you agree with that? He's, he's pretty good, though. But he's not playing top, top five player. Okay, top five players in the last 10 years. Correct. Want me to pull him up? Yeah, please do. Okay, so what's I'm that? I'm drawing total blanks 2014? Right that was, that, was, that was, yeah. go back to 2014? Oh, well then, why, why do I feel like this is obvious and I can't think of anything? Mm, I don't right. know. Who's 2014? Let's go. Just give me the top number one picks. Uh, Andrew Wiggins. He's not playing like top five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Twenty fourteen draft is one player playing top five. Go, ahead. Joel Embiid. Oh yeah, he was MVP this last year. Okay, that's, hey, tw- that's hey. what. That's twenty fourteen. Hey, that's a gimme. Okay, twenty fifteen now. Hey, that's affirmative action. Okay, twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Number one was Carl Anthony Towns. No, but we talking about do he change the game? <laughs> White, white joke. That was good, though. That was good, though. You don't um, like the affirmative action joke? I know. Uh, Come on. That's relative. So it was Cat, D. Russell. Jill. No, hey, real quick. Just side note. Why, Lakers, are we resigning D'Angelo Russell? For, to run the second team. Second team. Did nothing. Because Gabe Vincent is going to be the number one starter. You're just standing there in the playoffs. Game, Gabe Vincent is going to be the starter, and Russell is going to back him up. You need a backup. Just get J.R. Smith back out there. <laughs> oh, he's, gol- he's golfing in college. He's doing good, though, I heard. Yes. So you have Towns, Russell, Jaleel from Duke, yeah, yeah. and Chris Tapps, and then some other guy we don't know about. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's top five. Oh, none of those guys. That's 2014. That's 2015. 2015. 2016, Ben Simmons. Brandon Ingram. Hey, who? Yeah, Ben Ingram. Simmons. No, he's not. Top five. Ingram is a baller. Don't but, act like he's not. But he ain't top five. No, you, don't, you, just, don't, you just don't pay attention because one, he's you're not a top five. Guy, you're in the East. Jalen Brown. Yes. Jalen Brown, okay. You guys, he's about to get a max contract. You got like to pick one. Ingram or Brown? Uh, ooh, that's yeah. a good one. I'm saying Jalen Brown because he plays defense on okay, offense. So I'll give you one. Okay, so right now we're, we're at two. And Sweet. we're at, now we're at 2018. No, 2017. 2017, number one was Marquez Fultz. Alonzo Ball. Oh, terrible. Josh Jackson. Where'd he go? Where is he right he's now? He's not even playing. I just understand. Now, saying. this draft has two. That was Suns, right? This what draft, happened there? I don't know. This draft, I can see two players. Tatum. Yep. And Fox. Yep. Okay. 1,000%. Right? Okay. Okay. So, we're up to four guys. Four. <laughs> 2019. DeAndre Ayton. Bagley. Wait. You'd say, yeah. No. Not top five. No. Bagley. Wait. What are we saying top five for, though? You said that player, he's not playing like a top five player, Chris Tapozingas. He's not playing like a top five draft pick. Draft pick, yeah. So, But those guys that you're mentioning are top five draft picks that are playing like top five draft no, picks. No, they're not. Yes, they are. John Ray Aiden playing like a top five draft pick? You could say that. Okay. My bad then. Right? My you bad. could say that, right? My bad. Hey, would Jared you tell Jackson me Jackson Jr.? He just won defensive player of the year. Luka Doncic? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and Trey Young. Hey, you could yes. So that that's the best draft ever. Those are all pros, right? All are uh, all NBAs. Yeah. 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 That's uh, that's that's the best draft then. Did you say ever? No. We'll have to do a whole other podcast. I mean, we'll have to do a whole other podcast. No, on of that. the of the top five playing like top five. Okay. Okay. And then 2019 is Zion, John Morant, R.J. Barrett. That's it. Yeah. Neither one of those are. Wait. Ja. 20, 2020. Hey, ja was all NBA the year before. Remember? No, I remember. Uh, no, he wasn't. That's why he didn't get his max contract. That's this year because he has suspended. And then, hey, uh, and the then, first thirty don't and don't disagree. And you know I'm right. The first thirty five games this year, maybe thirty, he was an MVP candidate. I'm just saying he candidate. Was, he was. He I didn't was. say he was the MVP. He was. Okay. The More next year. Embiid. The next year is Anthony Edwards. Yeah, he's a solid dude. Mm. Wise, what? Wiseman. What better than Cat? No. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> You're such a liar. Anthony Edwards is way better than Cat. He's still on purpose. <laughs> You're such an ass. Dude, you know Anthony Edwards. Okay, yeah. And he started his Adam Sandler film. I know. <laughs> Wiseman, Mellow Ball. Now, Mellow, Rookie of the Year. 
Yes. He got hurt last year, though. So what are you supposed to do? I don't know. And it's, then 21 is Kate Cunningham, Jalen Green, Evan Mobley, Scotty Barnes, Jalen Suggs. Everybody but Suggs and Barnes, I think those top three are playing like they should be. Suggs, when he's not hurt, was playing really well. And then well. last year was Chet Holmgren, Pablo. Well, pa- Pablo. Ch- Chet's going to be – hey, I'm saying it right now. Chet Holmgren, 2024 NBA Rookie of the Year. Who? Oh, yeah, he will be because he, he will didn't be. play. No, yeah. he will be. Yeah, he didn't play. Did you see his – No, he won't. Victor you, will be. No. Did you see his uh, weight gain? They're in the same division. Did you see his weight gain? What, like two pounds? 181 to 208. Oh, he put, he did put on weight. He Good looks for beefy, dude. Good for him. For a big, tall, skinny kid, he, he looks still, beefy. He t- I bet he still looks smaller than Kevin Durant. I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah. My point is, I don't think we, we, we answered the question as far as the last 10 drafts. Top five players playing at like top five. I don't think we named 10 of them. We didn't name 10, but we named eight. Okay. <laughs> so, my, so my point is a lot of misses than there is hits. No, I, I said I agree with that part. I know. So don't to get off of Chris Stapps. Oh, no. He's terrible, though. Not terrible. I'm just saying, let's not pretend he's great. You Please want eight? Stop pretending you, want he's eight great. you want Aiden or Chris Stops? Aiden. Okay. Right? Oh, I agree. Yeah. So, why'd you even ask? I don't know. <laughs> Miles not. Turner or Chris Stops? Ooh. Miles Turner. Really? I'm not hating on Chris Stops. Yeah, I just like Miles Turner. No, I'm not. Brooke Lopez or Chris Stops? No, I'm thinking. Oof, fuck. Brooke Lopez. He's already proven, though, man. Mm. He's massive. So you want somebody who's not proven then, or what? Like, what do you want me to give you? Okay, so bonus from the Kings or Chris Stops? That's what? Why would you even say that? They play, they play the same position. Sub bonus. Really? Okay. Has Chris Stop gotten a Supermax contract like Sabonis just did? Okay, that doesn't mean anything. That no, doesn't mean okay, shit. Okay, because okay. the fucking guy from Indiana Pacers got a five-year two hundred seventeen. Tyrese Halliburton? Yes, and that doesn't mean shit. You know that doesn't mean shit. So don't even bring that up. Did you see him and Travis Kelsey in the club celebrating that? Yeah. Don't don't bring that shit up though. The money contract thing is fucking bullshit. Don't bring that shit up. Is it though? Yes, it is. I'm taking some bonus though. I agree, but I'm just saying that shit, the contract bullshit. Don't. I'm be waiting that. for you to give me somebody that actually compares to Kristaps. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm, I'm going through the league, but I can't take that money yeah, money aspect. Okay, fuck that shit. Um, Let's wrap this up. Okay. I'm I'm all out. You have anything? I, dude, no. The Mariners. Mariners want to see it. Who you got this week? Giants and who? Giants and then um. Oh shit! Actually, I don't remember. Anyway, we got Baltimore and Cubs. I don't remember where we are. I just saw it, too. Either way. Yeah. You four, guys will be fine. We got four against Baltimore and three against Cubs. And then yeah. All-Star break. You guys will be the Cubs. We'll beat the Cubs, but more about the Baltimore. All-Star game. Yes, sir. Wait, it's on a Tuesday night, right? Yes, sir. All-Star game in pod? Yes, sir. Hell, yeah. We'll be like this. <laughs> no, we should watch. Okay. Oh, no, we should do the home run derby. Saturday. Mo- Monday. Yeah, we could do that. We, we, we'll, we'll talk about it. Just pick one of those days. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Hey, yeah. Great. Great job with the viewership in the two cameras, baby. Hey, happy 4th of here. July. Happy 4th of July, July, everybody. Happy birthday, America. Two happy beers, birthday. two mics. And we out of this bitch. <laughs> you. I love that shit, dude.